I'm writing for Cointelegraph, Czech Republic. Hello, Carol. Nice to meet you. And uh, I think I'm a big believer, uh, but sometimes I'm in doubt. Yes. <laughs> and uh, my question, my question is if uh, you have ever been in doubt uh, about Bitcoin, about the future of Bitcoin. That's very important for me. Thank you. Um, yes. I, I have been in doubt. There was a moment where I really, really got worried. And that was the day I got a call um, from one of the people I know in Bitcoin. and They say, you know what, um, we have it on good information that MTGOX is insolvent and are going to blow up today. And get ready for it, because it is going to be ugly. And in those days, there were really just one exchange, and it did all of the volume. And if Antigox blows up, we have a big problem. And uh, it did blow up that day. <laughs> um, about an hour after I heard it was going to blow up, it blew up. And, um, and I did, for a moment, get scared there. I was like, whoa, this is, this is just going to be so bad. Um, and then part of me, this little voice in my head, is going, maybe it will go to ten. And this other little voice in my head was like, if it goes to ten, you could buy a ten again. <laughs> and these were fighting because I wanted to like panic, and, but at the same time I was like, no, nah, this is going to work. No, it's every... here's the thing: there's so many people who will not give up, no matter what the price of Bitcoin. They will not give up. I will not sell my Bitcoin. I would rather watch it go to zero than some ever. And I don't really have much Bitcoin, but that's not the point. But I will be one of the many thousands of people who absolutely refuse to give up. And all it takes for Bitcoin to continue to exist is two nodes. Hopefully one of them at least or both are mining nodes. And that's it. Maybe the difficulty will go back to where I'm mining on my laptop. I never got to do that. That would be fun. <laughs> and so sometimes people tell me Bitcoin will go to zero. I'm like, really? If you go to Rome, you can buy Roman sesterce at a store that hasn't been in circulation for 1,700 years. And it's not zero. You can buy drachmas in Athens that haven't been in circulation for a decade, and it's still not zero. The currencies actually don't go to zero, because sometimes they just have sentimental value and touristic value and historical value. And I can tell you something: there's nothing that has more sentimental and historical value than Bitcoin, and I'm not going to bloody sell it. <laughs> so nowadays, I don't really worry anymore. I really don't.